Hi, today I'm going to conduct an experiment on enzymatic browning. Tons of fruits and vegetables are produced, processed, and shipped on a daily basis so that we can buy them fresh. Many of these pieces of produce, however, never make it into the stores. This is because many fruits and vegetables such as apples, bananas, apricots, mushrooms, lettuce, and pears turn brown or spoil over time. This reaction is called enzymatic browning and is one of the largest causes of spoilage in fruits and vegetables, even though it does not make the food harmful to eat. The name enzymatic browning comes from the fact that an enzyme within the fruit turns the fruit brown. But what exactly happens during the enzymatic browning process? The materials needed for this experiment are banana, water, pot, plate, and a pair of tongs. To start this experiment, fill a pot with water and place it on the stove and heat the water until it's boiling. When the water is boiling, carefully dip the bottom third of the banana into the boiling water for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, remove the banana from the boiling water and observe it for another 3 minutes. Observations and results. I was able to change the color of the banana with the boiling water, but I didn't observe a big difference in the banana right after putting it into the boiling water. But within the next 30 seconds and after taking it out of the water, it had turned pretty dark. I had noticed that the color change only happened when the banana was submerged in the hot water. This is because the boiling water caused heat stress to the cells in the outer layers of the banana peel and destroyed them. As the cells broke open, they released PPO and phenolic compounds which then reacted with the oxygen of the air to form melanin. Only the peel should have been affected by the enzymatic browning as the inner part of the banana was protected by the peel. Why does this happen? The process occurs when chemicals inside the fruit come in contact with oxygen in the air, and in this experiment, I used boiling water to speed up the process. This produces melanin, the same dark brown pigment that colors human hair, skin, and eyes. The enzyme responsible for the browning is called polyphenol oxidase, or PPO. In the presence of oxygen, the PPO enzyme changes substances known as phenolic compounds through a process of oxidation into different compounds called quinones. The quinones then react with other compounds to form melanin. Melanin is what turns the fruits and vegetables brown. This reaction, however, usually does not happen within fresh fruits and vegetables because the PPO and phenolic compounds are separated in the produce tensiles. The enzymatic browning process is only triggered when PPO, phenolic compounds, and oxygen come in contact with each other. This is exactly what happens when the fruit is cut, falls, or is not around too much. When fruit tissue is damaged due to heat, cold, age, or mechanical stress, its cells break open and phenolic compounds and enzyme are released and mixed with oxygen in the air. As a result, the damaged tissue turns brown almost immediately.